for tuning into my Florida drive-by. I'm on the US 41 going northbound. Uh, today is the 28th of November 2016 and I hope everybody is having a healthy, wealthy, and wise day today. Um, it's going to be a little bumpy on my uh, video here because uh, I'm actually, I don't have it mounted. I'm holding it freehand and sometimes it's a little harder. But uh, Great, I hope everybody's doing great. And I wanted to bring up a video here, uh, drive by, and this is about the Desert Eagle, because I had a few people, and I know uh, Hot Dogger 808 over there in Australia, Aussie friend, kangaroo, don't damn me down, kangaroo. But anyway, uh, having a hell of a time with his Desert Eagle. Um, he's got the older Israeli-made Desert Eagle, and if anybody can help him, he's having a shitload of issues. Uh, the main issue he's having with his Desert Eagle is when he shoots it, uh, the slide goes back on the last round and it locks. So it actually loads it. So for some reason, the um, slide is not locking back. It's going back forward. And um, myself, there's usually a few uh, uh, causes of that. It can be a weak spring. A lot of times it's... Uh, your magazine is not pushing up on the uh, follower to uh, push up on the slide uh, release. And um, that's not pushing up and locking back into the groove or a worn out groove on the slide. But he's like pretty much took and, uh, taken care of all that. So he swears it's not the magazines. He's tried a few different magazines. Uh, and sometimes the nub on the slide release can be worn out or cracked. And it's not being engaged by the uh, follower on the magazine, which is not pushing up and locking it back. But uh, he's, he's tried all that. So if anybody has any kind of um, uh, answer to that, you know, I, 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 would, I would see if you can let him know and post him on this channel. But, uh, yeah, he's having a hell of a time with his Desert Eagle. I know I had a problem with my Desert Eagle when I first bought when I bought a Titanium. And uh, I had finish, finish, uh, finish issues around the serrations on the rear. It was grayish. And a lot of you guys probably have that already. And that's a just bad finishing job. But Magnum Research won't do anything with it. And then I was having a lot of failure to feeds, uh, stove pipes, uh, failure to jack, slide locking back, slide going forward. Combination of shit. And... Uh, uh, I didn't know much as much as I know now, so I didn't really have a, a lot of ways to check it. But I sent it back three times to Magnum Research. They could not fix it. Each time they sent it back, said it was working. They probably put one bullet through it. But I uh, ended up getting all my money back on the Magnum Research, and they, they refunded all my money. So uh, Desert Eagles, and most of the problems with Desert Eagles, uh, you, can, you can attribute those to uh, the... Um, The uh, magazine, that's like 99% of the problems here. And if you put your magazine in the gun and it gets stuck, well, that's the magazine. And that is their little, on the back of the rear of the magazine, there's a little uh, nub, which is supposed to be out. Sometimes you have to get a straight edge and pry it out a little. It's a free-floating magazine, so about 16th of an inch, 8th of an inch from the bottom, it's supposed to be free-floating. You could tap it. But if it goes all the way up, uh, it can cause all kind of aggravations. And if it gets jammed in that magazine, it's a pain in the ass to get out. You end up might break in something. You have to take the whole gun apart. It's, it's a lot of work. So if you're getting it stuck, it's just the nub on the bottom on the rear of the magazine is not out far enough to engage the magwell. But uh, there's a lot of other issues. It could be, like I say, you can have a problem with the slide release. Um, the follower on the, on the magazine might not be coming out. There's a little numb on that engages it. So there's a lot of other issues, but usually changing springs will help. Uh, but that, you know, if you're getting fails to extract or fail to eject and, um, you know, stove pipes and shit like that, a lot of times it could be springs or components of the bolt. But uh, help us out. Help Hot Dogger and see if we can get this done. Thanks a lot, guys.